How's everybody today? Oh, tire out end. A new one. It's been a while. I had it for a while. So, replace that quick. See how it goes. Might not be quick. <laughs> but we'll see. All right. Bring you guys back in a bit. All right. Most of you guys uh, probably have done these before, or maybe not. And most of you probably have. So we'll not get into real big detail on tie rod ends. Well, if I can show you a little bit. Just take the cotter pin here, hair pin, or whatever you guys want to call it out. And she's factory. That's for sure. I'm just holding you anywhere. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Some of it's been broken off, and <clears throat> oh, come on, yeah, bugger. I'm gonna get a punch. All right, finger out of the way. And I punch this sucker out. I need both hands, so. Alright, well. I already took the uh, nut off. Impact there, 15, 16, zip right off. Come off nice and easy, that's good. Uh, see how much of a bugger this one's gonna be. Hey, that come out pretty easy. Yeah, you can see it's shot. <laughs> but the uh, inside one seems nice and tight. Well, that's good. I was kind of worried about that. Oh my god, maybe I should have got both of them. But So I'm going to sip these off here. Three volts. And see how good that slides out. And yeah. Well, that's come off alright. Uh, the bolts are a little rusted in there, but they didn't break off. I just ran the impact on them a little bit, spin them free. And... Well, that's good. It's so coming out. That one came out. That one's out. Got them uh, curved blocks, so it squeezes on that shaft, so it's got a tighter fit, so it doesn't slide. I don't think this. Uh, I don't think this one's gonna slide out real easy, so might end up taking it off the inside and putting it in the vise. <clears throat> then I'd have to use the uh, tire rod end tools there. You just can't uh, get in there real well. It's a bad thing about them, and it can hurt your rubber piece there and tear that all up. We'll see you once. Do a little tapping on here and twisting on it. Maybe I can get it to go. Uh, being pretty stubborn, so I'm going to do this end here is threaded. I'm going to take this clamp uh, loose. And I'm gonna see if I can uh, spin this 180 because there's a slot to keep the slot down to try to keep the junk out of it. So if you're doing it, make sure you always keep the slot down if you can with your adjustment. Most of the time you can, so that's why it's threaded. So yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm loosen that up. So get a pipe wrench on here and get a little, little spinny, and see if I can get a chisel in there. To uh, open that up a little bit, and we'll go from there. Well, <coughs> I took it off. This son of a bitch will not move. <laughs> but I'll show you here. It's in there all, in there all the way, anyways. Well, not all the way. One more hole notch. But 
show you how far it's in there. And it's probably been that way since factory, or as long as I've known. We've had it for since the 90s, so. Yeah, so my best bet is to, I figured anyways, get it in a vise, and I can put a big long punch and start driving it out that way, so. See if that works. So, yeah, we'll get her over to the vise and see what happens. <coughs> this is my <coughs> punch. It's just a piece of round stock steel. And, uh, well, been using it for a while. You can see how, the, how bad the head's mushroomed over there. So, and I had to take it down on. Some reason the camera stopped, whatever, grind this end down. Because it was mushrooming out from the last time I used it, so. Well, we're gonna lay it in there and I'm gonna try to steady it so I don't bang the crap out of them threads and see if I can get her to come out. Alright. Well, I've been beating on it a little bit and it ain't moving. So I'm gonna have to hit harder. <clears throat> so I decided to do is I uh, wrapped the long punch there, put a little more tape on there, with electrical tape, and, and I don't have to worry about messing up them threads, so, put a little more tape on there, and that should save me from screwing up my threads, and then I can, uh, <coughs> put a little more meat and potatoes into it, I guess. Yeah! That son of a bitch will not move. Well, guess I'm gonna have to get the torch and uh, give her some heat. Oh, well, we'll warm her up quick, I guess. I really don't want to get it red hot. I want to get it hot, so. Sometimes you just get it hot enough or it expands enough. And she'll loosen up and come out. But, see what happens here. Well, I think I put some more heat on it here. I tried it again, but it keeps uh, slipping through the jaws on the vise. So I just run a bead, a little bead on each side of that shaft there, or steering arm, or whatever, tie rod, or whatever you want to call it. And then <clears throat> loosen up, slide it into where the jaws are. So that the jaw's got something to bite in against too because the jaws are, are pointing this way and it just keeps sliding through. Hey, put a little more heat on it and see where that gets me. It's going good, guys. <laughs> She's going smooth. I got it to move. So we're making progress, but Swinging the hammer so hard it broke the handle off. No, I didn't hit the bar. The <coughs> the uh, 
the punch, it just broke the handle. The tape was on there for traction. <sighs> yeah, so I gotta go get a bigger hammer, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I won. <laughs> now she's hot. Well, she was a fight all the way to the end, so. What? There's that. There's one end of the rod. And that's the end I cleaned up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's good. We got her out. Broken hammer handle. A lot of uh, acetylene. And I had to chain the, <coughs> the old table vise to the table. <laughs> the old stops there wouldn't hold her anymore. So, <clears throat> yeah. All right. Well, I'll get to uh, getting this. Uh, and get the other one around here and coat it in every season. Throw her in there. Here. Got her in. Got her never seized. Got my uh, welds grounded down anyway. It's good enough, I guess. It'd be perfect. I don't know if I even got any paint. The paint it. I'm not sure. But get this collar back on here. Put some never sees on the threads quick. And we'll uh Yeah. Put her on. <clears throat> Alright. I can put her together. The threads did get uh, flattened out a little bit, but I actually it threaded on real nice, so. So that's good. Bolts in there, tighten them up. The bolts are in bad shape. They weren't corroded or pitted or rusted or anything too bad. Just uh, stiff from being in there so long. And I just got to get a cotter key. Got that tightened down and the, the hole lined up. Yeah. I think, think I'm going to got to go to chores now. I wanted to get that tire fixed to see what happens here tonight, I guess. And really wanted to get that tire fixed, too. Whenever. I'm going to pick my stuff up here. And, and yeah. Forgot to do that last night. <laughs> Watched the video and I'm like, hey, I forgot to put a cotter pin in. Yeah, good enough. Yep. Okay. I uh, guess I'm gonna call this video good enough, I guess. Um, one thing I want to say is, um, well, today is the 26th of, uh, March, and, uh, it's me and my wife's 15th wedding anniversary, so, happy anniversary, honey. She wanted me to make a video in just about our, just about our wedding anniversary, and I'm like, no. <laughs> but we can't do anything, which is fine, doesn't bother me any. But, uh, but uh, I like to say happy anniversary to my wife, and and uh, maybe that's you guys, some of you guys know if you want to know that. If you don't, it's fine. But uh, maybe share a picture with you here on the ending here um, of our wedding picture, I guess. And I don't know. <laughs> but 15 years, yeah. It's uh, it hasn't been a long 15 years. It's been a struggle. Um, we've been through quite a bit. Their son Tyler and farming and life in general, I guess. But uh, all well, you guys out there that have been married, no one understand, I guess. And some people don't. Their marriage doesn't work, and some people stay married for a long time. So it's, uh, it's all in how you make it, I guess. But uh, yeah, I'm rambling on here now. So, well, guys, I hope you liked the video. 
and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.